you hear all the time, well, who wants to go sit and charge for 45 minutes? With 800 volt charging, you're able to add something like 40 miles per minute. So here are all the EVs with 800 volt charging available in 2024. Hi, I'm David with EV World News, and I'm joined today by Mike Herzog. How's it going today, Mike? Doing great, David. Working from home for the day and got my blurry background on. So my topic is 800-volt charging. You hear all the time, well, who wants to go sit uh, and charge for 45 minutes or whatever? So, and we've talked a little bit about this before. So here are all the EVs with 800-volt charging available in 2024. Now, the significance of this is that there are already 800 volt charging stations in New York City. However, there's no cars that can currently take that charge. With 800 volt charging, you're able to, on a lot of brands to add something like 40 miles per minute of electricity, okay? Now, what this translates to is a five minute stop will get you 200 miles of charge. That's not really any different than filling up a gas car, okay? now. In theory, you could put 500 miles of range in a gas car in five minutes. But that being said, we all expect you're not going to outdrive that 200 miles. If you had to add a, add more range than that to your EV for some reason, you could. Then probably it'd take another five minutes to get that extra, you know, 100 miles or whatever. But here are all the cars that are coming up on this, and th this is a big deal. So there's only a handful of chargers in the United States so far that can take this type of architecture. But this is showing you that within a few years, they're all going to be 800 volt chargers and everything is going to be this way. And so this whole thing about, oh, EVs charge too slow. Well, here's all the cars available on 2024 models with this. This is a huge deal. The Audi e-tron, the Chevy Silverado EV, the Genesis GV60, we got three Genesis models. And look at all the GMCs, Hummer EV, um, the Sierra EV. Now, mind you, most of these are really expensive ones. What's the, what's the Sierra? Is that that's uh, is that one of their trucks? Yeah, that's the, one of the $95,000 pickup trucks, okay? Which is best in class for towing. It's, it's the best towing SUV, okay? But it's it's the Sierra and the Silverado are essentially the same vehicle. Um, we got the Ionic 5, the Ionic 6. Wow, Kia EV6, Kia EV9, a couple of Lotuses. I haven't seen those here in the United States. Lucid Air, Lucid Gravity, Porsche Macon, Porsche Taycan, uh, Ram 1500. Now that's a plug-in hybrid that's about to come out and the Tesla Cybertruck. So all of these vehicles are capable of taking 800 volt charging, but these are all 2024 models. It wasn't available last year. So you're not going to get this feature in a used EV. It, it moved in that direction. And this, this is my, so this is my engineering piece of it. Hopefully what I bring to it, it's, Power equals voltage times current, um, and especially in in DC direct current applications. So, if you double the voltage, go from four hundred to eight hundred, you effectively double the power transfer. I mean, it's it's more complicated than that and goes to it, but it's also with so many of these applications, current is your limiting factor. It's it's how many amps, you know, how many electrons can you actually get to go through this wire um, as you're moving through this step. So it's compounding efficiency as you get to these higher voltage, you're reducing the current that goes through it at the same time, which reduces your losses, which reduces your heat coefficients that, you know, limit things that cause it to charge slower. So the ability to raise the voltage on all of these steps, I mean, just, just makes the whole process that much more efficient as you go through. Now the rub is it's higher voltages, dangerous you know there's more safety features you have to put in a little bit more insulation you have to put in uh, a little little bit of extra stuff in there but on the same hand it's if they're able to incorporate that that to the vehicle and, and continue potentially to, to up voltage levels and, and still do it in a safe manner i mean it it makes these processes that much more efficient um and going through and it's going to it already is i mean a five five minute charge time that's crazy i mean i don't Barely have time to go get my, you know, walk in, use the bathroom, get my slushy. Uh, by, the, by the time the car is done charging, as you go through a spot like that, but that's yeah, I love to see it. The only thing that was noticeable from the list was they were all fairly expensive, with the exception of the Hyundai's and Kias. So that that was one thing is the it was mentioned in the article 
it doesn't mean that every EV is going to have it because of the fact that the automakers aren't breaking down their pricing to show how much more you're paying for the 800 volt system. You just have to evaluate your purchase as a whole and just know that that's part of the feature. It's going to certainly be something to look for because the higher that voltage is, the quicker your car can charge. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.